Hey, what's up guys? Today we're diving into the brand new MK1 trailer and focusing exclusively on Reptile. While the trailer introduced a couple of new characters, our main focus in this video will be Reptile himself. Starting at the beginning of the trailer, we see Reptile walking towards the camera. One way to enhance the shot would be to add some overlap to his feet and apply squash and stretch to them. To explain in more detail, the feet could slightly lag behind the movement of the sandals and then overlap as the sandals make contact with the ground. This would be akin to how toes overlap in a walk cycle as the foot moves into the downward position. The squashing of the toes would occur as the foot passes allowing for stretching during the down position weight is fully on the foot. Additionally, tilting the feet slightly inward on the Z axis would create a more natural walking appearance as opposed to the current flat footed look. This adjustment would infuse the shot with more life and realism, taking it to the next level. Moving forward, we finally get a glimpse of Reptile in all his glory. They appear to be returning to MK's Deadly Alliance design for Reptile, which isn't my personal favorite. The transition from reptile to human form could be smoother. There seems to be a missed opportunity for his cloak to transition from his tail. This would introduce overlap and follow through as he stands up, breaking up the shot a bit. The hands are static in the shot until they abruptly straighten out. This leads us to the gameplay segment where I absolutely love his fighting stance which sets him apart from what we've seen so far. He takes inspiration from Sub-Zero's animations where his attacks are enhanced by his power. In his classic overhead attack, his arm morphs into a reptilian limb. He completely transforms into a reptile for his acid ball attack, even in midair, to conclude his combo string. Instead of a standard kick for his low attack, he uses his reptile tail. A nice touch. His roll attack from previous games is replaced with a lunge where Reptile performs a crocodile death roll on his opponent. Lastly, I found his fatality highly engaging as it seems to combine elements from all his previous fatalities. It includes acid, tearing the body in two, and for good measure, smashing the head. A standout moment in the fatality occurs when the limb dissolves as Melina crawls. The head turning to witness the descending hand, adds a brutal touch, evoking a sense of desperation and agony in the animation. Overall, Reptile showcases a variety of tricks up his sleeve, and his gameplay appears to be both enjoyable and easy to grasp. MK1 is shaping up to be an incredible game. That wraps up the video, and I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please consider liking, commenting, and subscribing. Until next time, keep animating.